What's up guys and girls? So in this video, we are gonna talk about some heavy strength training circuits. A lot of you by now, if you're watching this, have gone on my channel or on the Live Up dashboard and you have seen the high intensity body weight or limited equipment workouts that I put together for you to do at home, which are gonna get a great fat loss and metabolic result. Now, some of you out there have considerably more equipment at your disposal at home. You may have garage gyms, you may have a lot more weight to put on the bar. So those workouts, as fun and explosive and engaging as they are, maybe you wanna do something slightly different. You wanna pick up some heavy weight and you want to get a different type of training effect. So for those of you with the equipment, those of you with the ability to do this safely, we're going to discuss today some four exercise circuits that you can do that are great fun, unbelievably challenging and will elicit both a fat loss response and a strength and size response. We're gonna pick compound lifts. It's important that we pick compound lifts and you can structure this however you want. We're gonna work upper body, lower body as supersets and vice versa to make sure we get maximum fat loss effect from this. And while one muscle is resting, the other is working. We are gonna get a high respiratory effect from it though. It's gonna make your lungs burn. It's gonna be very, very challenging. The important thing here is to remain safe. Yes, they are heavy circuits. You need to be loading the bar up with as much weight as you possibly can but safely and I don't want you training to failure this is really really important so you may have to switch weights between depending on how much equipment you've got you're gonna have to take weights on and off and as I demonstrate this it's not going to be live like a lot of my other videos as we're adding weight unfortunately I'm carrying quite a severe injury on my left hand this means I can't do any pulling or pressing of heavy bars so what I'm going to do is take some clips that I've used in, with Live Up in the past and we're going to splice them in and I'm going to talk you through what you need to be doing throughout each set so you know how many reps to go for you know how much rest you need and you're going to be able to get a little bit more out of it so what we're going to do four exercises back to back, minimal rest in between, let's say 30 seconds to a minute, just enough to recover your breath, and then we move forward. Train one to two reps short of failure based on the rep parameters set out. So I would recommend for all of you, start with around 10 reps and three to five total sets of those 10 reps. It's a vertically loaded circuit, so you do one exercise after the other, and then repeat for the amount of rounds we need to do. If you want to go more strength-based, you need to know how to train and know how to resist that point of fatigue that can make a lot of people make mistakes. You can go down to say five by five reps per circuit. You can do five by 10 reps per circuit. You can even go right up to 20 reps, which is obviously gonna be an awful lot lighter and it's gonna be burning a lot of fuel and working on your endurance more than outright strength. But it's good to play around and make sure you're varying things constantly. We're gonna do five rounds and we're gonna do 10 reps with each set. Again, I'm gonna take some clips from Live Up because I can't do it myself for you now. I'm gonna splice them into this so you understand what's going on and then you can make that your own, set out the amount of reps you wanna do and repeat it for as many rounds. But just watch this video so you know what's going on, you know how to do things safely and you know the full structure of the workout. Okay, option one, so our first circuit and we're gonna start this one off with a barbell squat. Now based on what you can do, what you feel most comfortable with, and what you know you are safest with when training heavy, you can adjust this squat. If you wanna do a goblet squat, you can. If you wanna do a front squat, you can. If you want to do a sumo squat, you can. The important thing is a high output. You need to be training heavy, you need to be training hard. And remember, one to two reps short of failure. Once you get to the end of the set, we are moving on, we're gonna take 30 seconds to a minute's rest, catch some recovery. We then move on to a pull-up. Ideally weighted if you can add a weight belt. If not, if you're unable to do pull-ups, you can add assistance that with a band or a machine, depending on what you have access to. If you can do neither, a body row underneath a bar, lying almost horizontal is a nice alternative to this. But again, work within your capabilities and train damn hard. This is very, very important that you're maximizing your output. Next up, we move on after about a minute's rest to a deadlift. Again, you can choose the deadlift. You can do a sumo deadlift. You can do a conventional deadlift. If you're particularly tall and you struggle and you have the ability to do it, you can do rack pulls, but do please try to make sure it's below the knee. We still want some training output. I don't want you pulling rack pulls from halfway up your thigh. It's completely pointless when it comes to getting a half decent training effect. Next up, overhead press. So select the weight that you can manage safely. Keep your glutes tight abs engaged, drive the bar up above your head and then slowly lowering down. If you are leaning back too much, it's gonna recruit a little bit too much chest and it is gonna hurt your lower back, so don't do that. Once you get to the end of this round, it's the final exercise, we're gonna rest for two to three minutes, get a full recovery before repeating again. Our next option, next workout, is a slight variation on exercises. 
Start off with a deadlift. Same rules apply. You can do conventional or sumo. It's entirely up to you. You can pull from blocks if you want. Do what suits you and maximize your power output. Make sure your training is hard as possible. You're gonna be taking weight on and off the bar throughout these workouts, so give yourself that little rest period in between because it's important that you are training heavy with these workouts. Take about a minute's rest, and then we move on to a weighted dip. Again, we're gonna add as much weight as possible. If you can't, then do them with your body weight. If you can't even do them with your body weight, you can add assistance using a band or something similar, or even do bench dips as an alternative. We want this to be accessible to all of you. Take a little bit of a rest, and then next up we are gonna squat. I've put front squat here for variation, but again, dependent on what you feel safest with, what you feel works for you, and what you feel you can get the most out of when training heavy, you execute that squat. Just do it safely, and again, maximize your output. One minute's rest, and then finally we are into a bent over row. You can do it with a dead stop at the bottom, or you can maintain tension throughout. It's entirely up to you. Train heavy, keep your back straight, make sure you are constantly safe. If you struggle with this one, you can do a different variation, maybe a single arm row with the end of the barbell. Once you've got this, we are resting for two to three minutes before repeating the round again. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. Those are two really, really good options for heavier lifting circuits. Pick your big compound lifts. Remember that between each set, you are probably gonna have to be loading the bar, taking weight on and off, dependent on the movement. Train safely, train to maximum intensity, and once you've got to grips with it, you can play around with the rep ranges. You can go heavier, say doing five rounds of five, or you can go slightly lighter and go say five rounds of 20 for volume. Five total sets of that circuit is about right. You don't wanna be going crazy with it because it is gonna be extraordinarily taxing. It's also important to remember that when you lift heavier, you need considerably more recovery. So this is not like the body weight sessions. This is probably not something you want to be doing too frequently, maybe two, three times a week maximum, rather than the four, say, that we're doing with the body weight stuff. You're gonna need the extra recovery in order to prevent injury and get the greatest training effect. Make sure you're eating well, make sure you're sleeping well, make sure you're recovering properly, mobilizing and doing a proper warm up before the session and stretching properly afterwards. And again, if you have the equipment, the ability to do this kind of circuit, track for progressive overload. Always try to lift a little bit more and make it a little bit harder every single time and you can get the absolute most out of these workouts. Cool? Cool. Enjoy, let me know how you go.